the next step in modernizing Soundwave has come about. But we're going to look at step after that, the black repaint, the Sound Blaster attempts. So without further ado, I give you BTS's Sonicron Black Soundwave, Sound Blaster, Nemesis Soundwave, whatever you want to call it, BTS 04B. So, Operation Eject. Let's do it. Ah, uh, 1984 Soundwave. The noble, amazing attempt of an iconic character. Remembered by all, never forgotten by many. One could say that this character has had the hardest attempts at modernization. Optimus, Bumblebee, everyone else seems to be able to jump into some kind of smooth alt mode that helps bring the character to new life. But yet, Soundwave has always hit those bumps in the road. Every fan has had their own interpretations, whether it be, oh, he should be a CD player or an MP3 player, or maybe, you know, some kind of, you know, audio tank thingamabobby. And we've gotten some official attempts at stuff like that, too. But ultimately, in the end, we've never been satisfied. We've never seen that as the next step. People have always been happy with usually the, you know, the classics attempts of other Transformer characters, but no one has ever been truly satisfied with what we've gotten from Soundwave. There's never been that must-get Soundwave toy. Although, BTS has been giving us something that has raised an eyebrow. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to give this guy a rest, and we're going to take a look at the next stuff. Um, for those who aren't familiar with who B BTS is, uh, they were the people who did originally the classic series um, tr Teletran kit, which was like all the upgrade weapons for your classics toys and stuff, and for uh, the trailer, which was actually their BTS-01. Um, and then people might be more familiar with recent stuff, like their uh, Matrix of Leadership upgrade set, which, by the way, I recommend this heavily. This is an amazing kit. Um, to upgrade your Optimus Prime, or even hell, for your Rodimus or your Ultra Magnus, it's just it's fun to have that kit. But what they did recently was uh, Sonic Cron. This was their attempt to modernize Soundwave, and it was a really, really good attempt. Um, there was some issues here and there in terms of QC and pegging and stuff, but the engineering and the concepts were really good. Um, and just the final product was really fun, but still it had its problems. So they went and did a second attempt, much like Mat Mastermind Creations did, where their black repaint was actually an improvement, so was theirs. And so I present to you BTS-04B Sound Blaster. So, whoa. Strike them up, and we're going to do a whole review. So let's go, go, go. Now, the black from the blue is not an old idea. <laughs> no siree. Um, and it's been attempted many times, even with modern interpretations of Soundwave. Uh, obviously, I left out the animated version and the original Sound Blaster and tons of other stuff. So uh, this was all I could scramble together at the last second after getting him from uh, BTS themselves. So... You know, like, even even MP3 interpretations of Soundwave had their blue, and then later their black. Um, but this time they improved uh, mold-wise, where the original kind of slipped up. And this one's pretty awesome. Now, for people who aren't familiar with Sonic Cron, uh, he's essentially the old uh, DV cameras. And what's cool about it, he has, like, the tons of detailing everywhere. You know, there's little flaps everywhere, and there's little details, and like looks like jacks, and little things here, and awesome engineering. Um, one thing that's really cool about it, um, I wish I could show it better, is that his arm is this piece here, and there's buttons on it, and you push this button, and a lever that goes through the arm actually pops open this thing. And that's pretty cool that it does that. So I'll show you all, obviously, when it's in robot mode, and you'll get a better idea and appreciation of it. But there's really cool, you know, little hidden weapons and stuff, and 
where everything stores away. So there's the missile and the guns are here. Um, the one that I was sent from BTS uh, didn't have the extra weapon that came with the blue one. Um, I don't know if it's going to be with the final product. It probably will be. It's just they forgot to send it. So that's going to be lacking. But it doesn't hinder the figure at all, let me tell you. Because it's still an amazing piece. So we're going to now check out the whole interpretation of it. So let's hit the robot mode up. But this is the alt mode. Very simple. A lot of cool little details everywhere. But let's go to the robot mode. So here we have it. BTS 04B, a.k.a. Sound Blaster. Now, I want to address this right away. All the QC issues that existed with this buddy doesn't exist here. Mr. Blue had the surface problems. He had the loose joints. He had the problems with cassettes fitting in his chest. He had the problem with the cassette deck popping out. All of that is gone here. This is like a mastermind creation scenario where the original, like Night Morpher, had the issues. They were addressed. New version. Perfection. So for those that want to see it, here it is. Look at that. Pops out like nothing. Here's a G1 Ravage. Original 84 G1 Ravage. In. Out. Perfect. Want to go a little higher end? Well, not higher end, but larger size. More gimmicky. 1987 Slugfest. In. Out. In. Out. Beautiful, eh? So, those are covered. He has the weapons. Very nice. And the gimmick that a lot of people miss out on, just like how in the camera mode he has the little side pieces that kind of represent like the screens of a camera. They pop on the side there in robot mode, kind of reminiscent of like jazz wood. And they become little extra speakers there that he could use as a weapon. Pretty cool, eh? So that's pretty much it. There's other people who did reviews of it, so if you want a really in-depth review of this toy, it's out there. But I just wanted to cover the QC issues and how much of an improvement this is from the original. It does everything that was originally intended for this one, but are now present. So I heavily suggest picking this one up. I see him range usually between uh, $59 to $70, and I think he's worth it because he really fits in on the classic shelves where, again, a lot of people have been using this one because there just hasn't been anything that matches that. I mean, even the Galaxy Force, a.k.a. Cybertron release, while it's a great toy, it doesn't match that aesthetic. And now we have it. Now we have both interpretations. So this is Proto Man of Proto Retro. And uh, check this one out. BTS has been doing a lot of great stuff, and they know how to fix something when it's broken. So till then, roll out.